I'm Bill Sisson, the editor of Angler's Journal, and welcome to The One, a conversation show about a memorable fish or a memorable day. It could be a fish that got away, when they're still chasing, or one of those days that you really want to repeat over and over in your mind. My guest today is Pat Healy. Welcome, Pat. Thank Pat you is for the uh, me. president and CEO of Viking Yachts. We're here on the third day of the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. It's a busy time, it's a good time. Uh, in addition to building boats, Pat is, as most people know, an avid fisherman. So we're here today to talk a little bit about maybe a, a day or a fish that really stands out in your mind. Well, the, the, the thing about growing up in the Mid-Atlantic region and fishing the canyons, you, you're really focused on catching the most. Uh, and you love to get that big bite, yeah. but that big bite only comes every five or six years. Uh, and what we f focus on is catching white marlin, catching striped marlin, catching sailfish. Uh, and we do it from uh, our out of Cape May, New Jersey, to Los Sueños, to Cabo, to Mexico, and a couple days that you know I've really enjoyed is uh, that stand out. Or of course, where everybody asks, "Where's your favorite place to fish?" Right. Same thing. I like everywhere. <laughs> you know, there's not any one place I like to fish. I like everywhere. But your home anywhere waters. where there's a bite. <laughs> but your home waters must be particularly. It is because right? you know, I always say, because you can go home after you're done fishing, right, and sleep in your own bed. Yeah. You know, you don't have to get on an airplane and fly 13 hours and right. have a long day. So, what we've uh, we've had a couple of memorable uh, trips. Uh, both days, single days, we've mm -hmm. caught 30 white marlin. And the uh, first time was uh, 10 years ago uh, outside the Norfolk Canyon. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was a phenomenal, phenomenal day of fishing. What, and, what uh, time of year? That was in the summer? That was in Obviously. September. 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 The September bite and Early. was right after Hurricane. Uh -huh. And we were started out fishing in the Washington Canyon. And one, one boat ran offshore. So we ran 90 miles from Cape May and another boat that was on our surface chart was a really nice looking piece of water. We had caught three or four fish in the first hour and we're like, wow, this isn't bad. The water doesn't look bad after the hurricane. We thought maybe the water would be colder and right. turned over a little bit and it looked good and a, and a boat decided to run off to this this uh, puddle of water offshore another 45 miles. They found a break or? And they and they found a break and uh, they ran out to it, put them out and caught a triple and, ca and caught a quad in the first half hour wow. and our captain Ryan Higgins said to me, what do you think? I said, there's no thinking. <laughs> Let's go. We're going. Yeah. And the thing was, it was now turned out from a day of fishing to an overnight trip. If you're going to run that far, you're going to lay out overnight and we had, we somewhat had enough food to Right. to make it through the night and we, we got out there and it was phenomenal. It was incredible fishing. And the first day we caught 23 uh, white marlin and on the second day we caught 30. And the interesting thing was we caught 29 and uh, on that second day on that second day and the fishing just shut off. Oh. And we tried probably for an hour and a half. You wanted 30. To, we so wanted that 30. Okay. So we were like, okay, well, we're headed in. We're not going to get 30. And there was a couple boats in the tip of the Washington still fishing, so we run 45 miles in, and it's, we, we got to go right through the Washington Canyon. And I was running the boat, and everybody else was sleeping, and and I heard four or five boats going back and forth. Yep, just got just got bit. Up, yep, just turned around, got bit again, and I started stomping on the floor. And I said, "All right, boys, we're stopping, <laughs> and we're gonna put them out here, and we're gonna catch the 30th fish." Yeah. And sure enough, Ryan comes up, boom, jumps on the helm, and sure enough, it took literally two minutes. Yeah. Put them out, we weren't out, and all the rods were in, all the lines were in up the rigger pins, and got a bite right off the flat line, boom, caught the fish, reeled everything back in and left and kept on going. Wow. So it was... Uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty cool. Good. I'm Bill Sisson yeah. for The One. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.